friends. Welcome to the uh, to the cod pa- the podcast the live stream. It's the a live pa- stream. It's, it's not live though. It's live right now. It won't be in a sec. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a live stream right now, but later it'll be it'll just be a episode. Uh, welcome everybody to episode one. Of what are we calling this? Um, logic session breakdown. That's so boring. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Can we call it? I was, to, I was about to spoil our album name. No, I don't do that. Yeah, I caught myself uh, there. How about? <laughs> can we call it the Jeremy Carr experience? Okay, that's fine by me. No, I'm not. I'm not starting a podcast <laughs> called the Jeremy Carr Experience. It's um, definitely not the Jeremy Carr Experience because this is a logic session that you work with. Welcome to Mason experiencing Jeremy Carr. That's actually a good title. That makes sense. This is you experiencing me <laughs> through recordings. Is it not? This is this is like I hate how that is worded. <laughs> hey, you want to experience me? I fly to okay, you. I guess we just start it. Just we'll start yeah. playing music. We'll come up with a title for this. We're gonna do thirty-five millimeter and miss you like summer. What else do we have? Uh, that's that's all. I mean, that's, that's all, all we out. have right now. Once the album comes out. By the way, we have an album coming out. We don't know when. We don't know. We, we, we're we not sure because of what just happened. Yeah, right now there's a pandemic happening for those far in the future. Maybe it's still happening. I don't know. Yeah, basically what we're doing right now is we're breaking down Fly to You, which is one of our songs on Spotify. Yeah, we got a new single called Fly to You. If you haven't heard it, go stream it while you sleep. The demo's there too. Yeah. Oh, we oh, we were talking about the art uh, the artwork and how uh, people Oh, yeah. how people get it. Yeah, so the artwork for those who don't know the story of Jeremy and me, Jeremy and I and me is uh Jeremy sent me this song fly to you in its entirety as a voice memo and it was so (laughs) it was what it was the whole song (laughs) yeah the whole song minus a few lyrics that we changed um because it was ripping off beyonce (laughs) i didn't realize that but yeah he sent me the whole song all the way through and it was like so fresh that in the recording he was flipping the pages of the lyrics (laughs) because he had just written them yeah, and then I replied. I I thought it was like a cover, and I was like, "Ooh, this is good," and I wanted to reply and be like, "Sick cover! Like, what song is this?" But then as I kept listening to it, I was like, "What? If, what if he wrote this?" <laughs> <laughs> and then by the end, when you did all the time changes and stuff, it was I was like, "This is incredible," and then I replied back saying like, "You did not write this." This is not real. Yeah, and that's what the artwork uh, says. And then you were so chill. You are just like, yeah, I wrote that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, the the file that you see on the artwork is the one that's on Spotify as the B-side for Fly to You. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is uh, just break it down for you guys so you can hear all the different parts, talk about how we made it, and just reflect on on the beauty of creating music. Let's let's play the first boring part first. Okay, I'll play this the whole first section, section. The slow sections. Yeah, so you can see in the project you got the boring part and then the actual good part. <laughs> There's a lot more going on in the the actual song here <laughs> the actual song <laughs> and then like I the don't first part's just not a song warm-up the the uh sound check 
<laughs> all right. Call it a sound check. Here is uh, the first half of Fly to You, and then we'll we'll break down all the instruments later. <laughs> to hear it but really <laughs> the whole time yeah but um, they can hear it wait yeah how can wait how can i can you did you share computer audio and through zoom oh i can uh oh yeah there you go okay. share you should work now you should play be able to hear it play a little bit of it yeah no i still can't hear it Really? I keep you close here. How? I don't want to go to the uh, Zoom device because it might not record in uh, the external mic here. But I'll give it a try. You clicked share computer sound, right? And you yeah. shared your screen on Zoom? Yeah. Can you hear this? Place to yes. Nice. It's on the, the mic, too, so we're good. Okay. Stay. All right. We're in business. Okay, we can... It's fine. I didn't hear it, but we can break it down still. Yeah, so... <laughs> you know what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I, I was there when we made it, so... All right, so that was the first section. Um, Let's just start at the top, I guess, or... Let's see, what's the most important part? The acoustic guitar? The guitar... People were telling me they really like that opening guitar. Really? Yeah. Just the sound. I of mean, it. yeah, it's it's all right. I it's, it's uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> this guitar here, right? What is that? Is that the Taylor? No, this is the Martin. Oh yeah. It's like a smaller one. This so oh, the the guitar on Fly to You is the Martin and Co. Uh, LX One. 
if anyone wants to get that fly to you sound, <laughs> <laughs> which I wouldn't recommend. I, it's not that good. Where's the, what key is it in? <laughs> out of tune <laughs> yeah yeah that so guitar part it's very different from the demo i remember the demo yeah was, how do we end up doing the, there's a lot more upbeat um and the demo is like dun, ka, dun, 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 like the second half yeah yeah or no, it was like a dun 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 ka ba dun 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 ka ba dun Yeah, it was a much faster. Dun, dun. Um, well, we decided we to no, we we changed it because uh, we were listening to a song, and it was, I guess, it, the first part of Fly to You was ins- a little bit inspired by that song. So the first part of Fly to You, we wanted it to be a lot slower. Oh, well, not slower, but. Um, we didn't want to have the fast part right at the beginning. Yeah, because we had y- we didn't in the want demo. It to be so you energetic. In the beginning. Yeah, because you have the to the moon and back. I hope yeah, I made it. That clear. line right there. That's that's uh, we wanted that to be to hit mean. hard. Yeah. And so, I think by drawing out the whole first half, just gave the second half like a lot more oomph. Yeah. Because I remember when we recorded the guitar part, uh, and I was playing it like how I did in the demo, it just wasn't working. Hmm. So I changed. I remember I just played around with whatever picker, picking, picking patterns. patterns. Yeah. Yeah. And it just turned out to be that one. Uh, that worked. Huh. Let's have a listen here. so good oh my god i <laughs> forgot about that little melody in there yeah, yeah. it's so nice and i think it does kind of just the same thing all the way through yeah so yeah acoustic guitar pretty simple I oh we had keys there, you recorded that. I don't remember. Keys. Oh yeah, I think I did that on. I did that on my own. Where are the keys? Do you see them? Right below the guitar. Oh Rhodes. Oh yeah, these are nice. Mm. Are you sure you didn't play that? Oh, I remember now. No, I did that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't I sound like now <laughs> because yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and that last chord there, um, play that last chord again. Of that. This one right here. Yeah. That oh one. yeah. I remember. I was like, I don't know if that's gonna work. I remember playing it, recording. It, it was a mistake. I do remember that too. Yeah. It was a mistake, and I said, well, maybe it will work. And then we listened back to it. It sounded pretty good. Yeah. Well, so. It just created more color, I guess, with the tensions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, that is counterpoint. Those last two chords. Listen to how the guitar goes up and the keyboard goes down. Oh, you're right. Pretty sick. Yes. That's what they call music in the business. <laughs> counterpoint. <laughs> If you see yeah. counterpoint, it's music. Counterpoint is like basically uh, like balance. How would you describe counterpoint? Like I think balance is a good word. It's like the the balance between different harmony parts. Yeah, it's it's, it's a harmony thing. Yeah. We uh, 
we have to remember that like we went to school for music so we're probably gonna end up saying things that people will be like what <laughs> what <laughs> even we still don't really get it <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah guitar roads what else is cool in here there's percussion in there i mean it's n- it's not much but it definitely oh yeah in uh in that pre-chorus we've added a little f- a little sound effect <laughs> I don't I think that's Apollo 11 Mm -hmm. the Apollo 11 launch I wonder if people can actually hear that I don't think so I think maybe at the lift off part you can slightly hear it but I remember when, (laughs) when we put that in we were just like oh just fly to you to the moon and back and then it's like the moon landing oh so good <laughs> so that's a that's a cool little texture in there um i quite enjoy this part after the pre-chorus when the bass comes in <laughs> And the bass is like really simple, but I think it's just perfect the way it kind of swims around the guitar. Yeah. think bass is my best instrument somehow i never practice (laughs) somehow you always just come up with it's not even just coming up with it when you play and you're recording it's it's always a good time yeah Yeah. i feel (laughs) i think i only ever play bass when it's time to record a bass line and come up with a bass line i'd never practice bass (laughs) i don't even i don't even know how to play this bass line it would take me a while to look, relearn it because, like, I come up with it, I record it, and then I just forget it. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's done. <laughs> Actually, it's most like, of, most of the instruments in our sessions, I feel like we play it once. We come up with it when during the session, and we're, yeah. we'll never, well, we'll have to learn it again if we wanted yeah. to ever play it. The only part I remember is the guitar part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> never thought. Else it, is, I never thought I'd get to a point, like, when I first started making music, I thought, and, like, writing songs, I thought, like, uh, how does anyone ever forget what they come up with? Like, you came up with it. How would you forget it? And now, after making an album, it's like, how did I play that guitar part? Or, like, how did I play that <laughs> bass line? Like, that's impossible. <laughs> so, anyway, percussion... I think is just <laughs> That's it. I think just shaker and like a bongo or something. All of it together. It sounds really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about these symbols down here. I just added them as like a texture, like a kind of a washed out high end texture. I remember the night I recorded these symbols. It took me, I think, like three or four hours just to get set up to record. I did this at the school just down the road. And I had to. I forget what it was, but like the room I was recording in was on the first floor where the practice rooms are. And there was no drum kit in the module. And so I had to go upstairs to find symbols. And I found symbols, but then I couldn't find stands. And then I had to find stands somewhere else. But I had to do all this back and forth. All just for symbols. Yeah, I had to do this all, like this whole back and forth 
thing to try and get set up all while like making sure that no one's going to steal my stuff in the room. So I had to bring my gear with me every time I went to get something. And then like when I finally got everything, my interface wasn't working properly. There was latency. And I was like, what am I doing right now? Like I, it's just symbols. What time like, was that? What time? What time? <laughs> Don't you usually record like late at night? Yeah, it would have been like, Maybe like 10 p.m. I started. So there's still people there. But you still re- recorded it. It's there, right? Yeah. So it's, it's just this. You probably can't even hear that. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear it. Just with everything together, it's... <laughs> it's, it's like a You nice wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, but it's there. It sounds like silver or something. That's what that is. See, I didn't even know this. <laughs> it's, and it's, it's I do a smart. lot. I do a lot without you. <laughs> it's mostly just this. details, you know. I don't know what these are. Oh, just more symbol hits. <laughs> On two and four. So this is when it gets a little more interesting. Um, I have a... I actually released uh, an album like on SoundCloud, I think like four or five years ago. And it was an album of field recordings that I made during high school. And one of the tracks was called God Moving His Furniture. Um, <laughs> Why is that the title? basically it's thunder and i remember i was recording this thunder outside my house and my mom came out and she was like oh there's god moving his furniture again and i was like all right that's the title (laughs) of the thing and so it's just rain shout out to your mom Just rain and thunder. I love how I'm finding it, finding this out too. I I didn't know that was in there. Really? No. That means you can't hear it. Well, or maybe it just fits so well. <laughs> probably. I, I'll probably hear it now. Now that you mentioned that's in there. Mhm. But that comes in when you sing this line. Where is it? When I say. A place to it may rain, where it may rain. Now I can hear it. So as soon as you sing where it may rain, the thunder hits that's, and then that's the rain comes I, in. Yeah. That's so that's I didn't know that. <laughs> that's just so weird. Is your mind blown? A little bit. Because now when I listen to it I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> uh what else we got? Oh, the, uh, is it in here? The roads during this part. I'll put the rain with it. That's a nice touch to the song. Yeah. That I'm going to take credit for. That was very... <laughs> like, yeah. uh, right after your phrases. It has that, that there's a place. I, a I really place like to stay. That's what they call call and response in the business, <laughs> in the industry. Just some. That just was some, a really uh, nice touch. Compositional techniques. I'm not trying to flex, but you know, it's genius. That there's a place, a place to stay, where it may rain, where it may rain. That's a nice chord too at the 
major seven. Since I've been spending a lot of time mixing and mastering the album, I've kind of forgotten how musical we were. <laughs> like, I, I haven't thought about jazz chords in so long. We, we used to be You've obsessed with You've just been them. mixing. Yeah. But our music is very jazz. Like, it's it, pop. I'd say, I, I, yeah. I'd but, say a lot of the elements we... Especially when we're choosing chords, we use a lot of extensions. Mm -hmm. But it's not jazz. It's not. Ja it's not jazz. It's not jazz. It's, just, it's not. It's pop. I think it's jazz. I think it's, it's jazz. jazz. I think it's pop that has stolen from jazz to no, become not pop. <laughs> no, not at all. Not even. Just there's no jazz in this. Zero there, jazz. <laughs> If you want to know what try jazz is, listen to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Oscar Peterson. Miles Davis. Major 7 is not jazz. Uh, yeah, it's... What are you talking about? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think that's all the stuff. I think we covered everything for this section. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Something I want to Oh, the percussion changes? The sh when that shaker comes in, I put a tremolo on it, and it goes left and right really fast. I think it sounds like... Good. <laughs> a place. What else? Oh, so yeah, the uh, the old version of this, or one of the old versions, I made a loop. And this would be a good segue into it, actually. I made a loop um, of a bunch of sounds with like uh, some field recordings and me just making sounds with my breath. And I called it the breath loop. Uh, and it's not in the single version, but this is going to be in the album version. That is, it's really neat. That there's a place. Wait, that's not in the single version? Nope. bike going by yeah what I, is that what is that high pitch i think there, there's like there's rain there's me going shh, shh, like that and uh there's a, like a sonar blip sample that i stretched out and then i think pitched down so it goes and then like a bunch of reverb there's cymbals See, I've listened to the album version already, so I never actually realized that it's not right. in a single version. But when you put that underneath the whole song, it it gives it a, so much more space. I think, I think it sounds very interesting. That there's a place, a place to stay. I love the sound of the bike going by. <laughs> and I recorded that sound with a stereo microphone. So the guy, this is a, a guy drove by me on his bike down a hill. And I was just standing there on the side of the road <laughs> with my microphone. And then he went by me. I was like, that's going to sound sick. Wow, great it's timing. Gonna, it's going to go from left to right. That's... 
It sounds really mysterious when you add that. Mm-hmm. The sonar bleep makes yeah. it sound very. Uh, it's weird because and, like, and it comes in when I say that there's this place, and it yeah. sounds like what is this place? Very uh, exactly. Curious. Yeah. I don't know nice. if that's intentional, but uh, probably when I was doing it, <laughs> I definitely wanted to like change the texture of it so in some way. Uh, okay, so yeah, I made that for the old version, or when I was making the old version, that's when I recorded that loop. So let's pull up the old version, which is just a disclaimer: this is god awful. Is this the version I think it is? Yeah, yeah, this is the, yeah, <laughs> just the stupid, <laughs> so stupid. And you can see how much time I spent on it. Like, I spent forever on these drums, and then we didn't use We're them. We've been using them. All right, so this was, this was almost going to be fly to you. I'm so glad it's not, because it's so bad. But here you go. And then I <laughs> what happened there? I didn't put okay, there's supposed to be chords over this, like the pre chorus chords. Yeah, we never or, did it. But we never did it, so I just did the percussion first. And it right, sounds right. so dinky when the <laughs> And then this. <laughs> the coffee with them. And then to the moon and back. I hope I made it clear. I fly to. I fly to you. I fly to you. There's no chords. I fly to you. Oh, wait. No, I have your demo up here. Oh, yeah. To the moon and back. I hope I made it clear. I fly to you. gotta talk about tamara oh yes we'll do that well we'll do that when we get back to the other logic yeah other project but can we just talk about the first part how the chords are different yeah why did we decide to use those chords (laughs) (laughs) i think uh well i think the the intro was something we were constantly struggling with we're like how does it start because we can't start at how the demo starts it's easy to work with like the later part, the chorus, because. Mm-hmm. I don't know why the intro is the way it is. It doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> it only happens once. And I remember my composition professor was even like, I think that intro, maybe that should just be like a different song. And I was like, nope, that that's the like intro. It sounds like a totally different song. But I was so stubborn. I was like, no, nope, that's the intro. That's how the song goes. I don't care. And now, looking back, I'm like, what were you thinking? The, it's so bad. Do the chords even work with what I'm singing with? Can you play the demo on top of the... Oh. Uh, maybe. We all fall. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay. No. Just one <laughs> No. Most beautiful <laughs> How would, how, how would I sing over song? I don't know what's going on. Oh, these whispers that I did were really, really cool. What are you saying? 
each track is saying something different. So this one. When I hear your voice. It goes, when I hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is. Oh, that one. Oh, it's like you're by my it's side. Like you're by my side. And then I guess it just repeats and it's like off. It's not two bars. It's like one and a half bars or something. And so the way it phases is different each two bars or I don't know. There's a lot of math involved when I did it. I think I'm saying if I had the choice and near you, I'd bide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like reworking the lyrics. Anyway, this is not the song, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, the whispers are cool. Everything else kind of sounds. And then here's <laughs> no, the. Doesn't sound like the song. No, here's the. <laughs> Without your mistake there, on the yeah. Um, what do we have here? Underwater spoons. Okay, this was. Uh, I I have a bucket of spoons in my drawer in the kitchen, and I just got it, and I was like, <laughs> and then put a bunch of effects on it. Fun stuff. What else is here? <laughs> Sex one and two. There's the sonar, that sonar sample. Oh, and I sidechain the sound of the rain to the kick drum, which you can't hear because it's muted. But that's why it yeah. sounds like it's ducking and all trippy. Gasps. Yeah, that's how fly to you could have been. That's Man, how that, it. That would have sucked. Oh, and then the drums that Drew recorded. Let's see here. These drums and. And to feel you skin to skin, I to. those drums took all day because the project if you go to the tempo you can see the tempo here it changes over time it goes faster over time so and he had to go faster as he was playing he had to speed up while he was playing and he hated it he was like can, does the tempo have to speed up like <laughs> i hate this i can't play along to a click that's changing all the time i, I remember like, when we were recording guitar I, I felt the same way i was like does it have to speed up <laughs> yeah. Can we not have it speed up? <laughs> I'm like, this is my song. It has to speed up. I'm glad it sped up, though. That must have been hard to record yeah. for Drew, yeah. especially drums. Yeah, because the transients have to be like right on the grid. 
There's another music nerd thing that no one's going to get. The, tra- the transients have to be on the grid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to explain that. what that means. It's pointless. All right, let's talk about that second section and uh, Tamara. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tam. So who she, is Tamara? Does she know that Let the, the song people is out? Know. Oh, I think so. She should know. I haven't told her. Just Does she like, know that hey, she's on Spotify? Does she know you're <laughs> on Spotify? <laughs> so, hope that's okay. All right. Let's just listen to the second section, and then we'll we'll get to Tam in a sec. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Let's rock. So you're far, I keep you close here in my heart. Cause I know one day that you'll be here to the moon and back. I hope I made it clear. I'd fly to you. I fly to you. That's a lot to unpack. Now that's a song. <laughs> that's a song. Tamara. All right, we'll start with Tamara. If you want to start with Tamara. Yeah, let's start with Tamara. Um, I don't know when you recorded her harmonies, but I just remember <laughs> you sent me a demo again, like a second demo. Yeah. But this time with the harmonies, and Tamara was on there. I was like, no, oh. no, she wasn't. She wasn't? Oh, that was so, you. Yeah, so because that was like a few days after you sent me the demo, mm-hmm. and I just texted you back another voice memo. Um, so yeah, Jeremy sent me Fly to You, the demo over text. I listened to it a billion times that night, and then I, I just whenever you send me voice memos of your songs, I immediately start thinking about how it's going to be produced, and whenever I hear like gaps in your phrasings when you're singing i go okay what's gonna go there what instrument's gonna complement it and i eventually just started singing a response to your fly to you bit which was the i fly to you i fly to you yeah the response part and then so i recorded that on my phone and then i was like well what if we did harmonies on that and then i just stacked a bunch of harmonies on it and then send it back to you. Mm-hmm. And so uh, when did you record Tamra? Um, the demo. When was the demo recorded? Twenty eighteen, like August. Yeah. Probably like September, October, the same year, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. 
I just remember one of the demos you sent me. And yeah, that that's on, uh, on that's on Spotify too. It's like at the end of the demo, it transitions yeah. to that one, so you can hear that, folks, if you want to on Spotify. But yeah, the the harmonies in the actual song are are actually a, a mix of me and Tamara. You, so yeah, you and Tam. Tamara's I fly you. Way. I fly you. Well, that's my terrible singing, and then Tamara's <laughs> singing. I fly to you. I fly to you. And I compressed it so much so that I had to really trim where it starts and ends because all you hear is just like <laughs> of room noise. Yeah. But yeah, you put them together and it sounds like this. I fly to you. I fly to you. It sounds like a gospel that was, choir. That sounds so good. Tamara's our friend, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went <laughs> to school there. Is. Really um, cool. What's the music that she sings? What is it called? Uh, Is it Carnatic? Yeah, is it Carnatic. Yeah. That's, real, that's so cool. I don't know how she does that. Like, how do you land those notes? Yeah, that, that always impressed me whenever she sang carnatic music it's just i don't, I don't understand <laughs> like How i just i want to know like i'm sure it's not hard to figure out but like i want to know what that scale is right and it's the like, way she sings it too like you can easily sing that scale probably if you practiced a lot but then yeah like but the, the way yeah. you like her inflections and stuff are like yeah. spot on yeah she's anyway. on there yeah that's cool. This is really cool. Um, so yeah, the uh, first section goes into the second section like this. Cause I know one day that you'll be here To the moon and back I hope I made it clear I'd fly to you That's so like Billie Eilish sounding. Which oh, I think... To the moon I'm, and back part? Yeah, to the moon and back with the harmonies. Yeah. And I think... Uh, I think I recorded this, those harmonies before I knew who Billie Eilish was. Just saying. <laughs> but I'm happy to say that um, it was inspired by Billie Eilish. Even though I did it first. But it's fine. Shout out to Billie. We're good friends. The best of friends. Yeah. To the moon and back. I hope I so punchy yeah those harmonies kick, what is that the kick it's uh the kick that i use in the second section and there's bass and then guitar well, maybe there is no guitar yeah i just like how it kind of doubles underneath the vocals as well to the moon and back you know yeah kind of mimics it it's just that. Yeah, it's really but good. uh are these the harmonies here? I keep moving us around on the screen. I hope that doesn't bother people. Cause it gets in the way of what I'm trying to click. To the moon and back. Oh, oh my oh. god, so tight. I'm glad you just you didn't just stack thirds harmonies. I don't know what I did. Because it sounds really good. To the moon and back. I think the one that makes it for me is to the moon and back. It's like chromatic. The lower one. The lower to one, to right? the moon and back. That one. To yeah. the moon and back. I could listen to that forever. <laughs> Do it with, this, with the my vocal lead. The lead? Where's the lead at? Do you see it? The lead vocal? Yeah, it was up there. Oh, no, it's here. Oh. To the moon and back, I hope I me. Yeah. That sounds really good, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of the... When that when that comes in, it hits so hard. Yeah. You don't expect it, which is what we were going for. Mm-hmm. My heart, because I know one day that you'll be here. And Sorry. then 
like the first part of the song is just that calm guitar and for the first part of the song that you don't expect it to change mm-hmm. so suddenly. Yeah. And then all of a sudden to the moon and back. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Hope I made it clear. <laughs> yeah. And then and then the way I sing it is just like <laughs> Hope I made it clear. It's like, it's like, <laughs> so like shy <laughs> to the moon and back. Um I hope I made it clear. I'd fly to you. Because <laughs> I know one day that you'll be here to the moon and back. I hope I made it clear. I'd fly to you. I'd fly to you. Just- All right, what do we got here? We got some percussion. Triangle. Yeah. That triangle. It's a shaker. Shaker. Oh, that's it, apparently. Oh, shit. Cajon. Is that a cajon? Oh, that's a cajon. Yeah. yeah. Just grooving along. And that's, that's already grooving, but then you put the kick and the snare underneath it. And it just hits hard. I mean, yeah, I can just rocks. And that's not even everything. We got symbols down here. Remember those symbols I was talking about? Took me yeah. all night to do. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, for the second half as well. A little shaker. A shaker oh. roll there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then even this. The, even the drums are a lot better. Yeah. The one drop there. It's what they call a one drop in the business. It's what they uh, do in a lot in reggae music. Yeah, it's when you skip beat one and you put emphasis on beat two. Beat th- you move the kick beat to beat two. Yeah, so you hear that. No one knows what we're talking about. Well, yeah, I mean beat <laughs> one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Skip two, three, four. Uh, where's the vocal? If I play. Well, that was just you going, hey, uh. hey. <laughs> <laughs> that Guys. line, singing that line without any instruments just sounds dumb. What is going on? <laughs> uh, the acoustic guitar here is funky as hell. Let's see here. Yeah, I had to play around with this a lot because I think we only got one good take of you playing the chords all the way through. And so I I wanted it panned left and right, which mean, usually means you'd have to do two takes, right? But you were too yeah. goddamn lazy to do another take. Because I was really bad. <laughs> For some reason, I start playing this guitar, these chords. When so we're then recording, I just make a mistake. I don't know. I had to take the second half of the guitar part move it over to the first half and layer it and then pan it left and right. But there's a part where you didn't play the same chords twice. And so the guitar just goes to mono. Like there's only one guitar for a few seconds. Let's see. So 
of that second half was only one guitar, but I kind of masked it because I, I put it in mono and then I put like a phaser effect on it. So it sounded like really like space. Right, right. So it still kind of sounds like you won't notice that it goes into mono. Yeah. Just that's a little trick. Production lizard over here. <laughs> 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 Production lizard. What? Production production wizard? No. No, lizard. Lizard. Why lizard? That's what I am. I wonder how long, like if we do a bunch of episodes like this, how long will it take for people to understand our inside jokes? Just, uh, just get a lizard and make it get it. <laughs> <laughs> like that one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one understands that. All right, let's mm. keep moving here. Drums. Oh, the bass line. The bass line. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the guitar. Is there are roads in the second part. Hell yeah. This is like the signature... Uh, Smith and Carr bass sound, I think. Okay, I'll play the drums, guitar, and bass. that part with this <laughs> and the bass line sounds so wet I think that's what is special about our bass sounds the only other person I hear doing that kind of bass tone which is kind of what I'm trying to copy is Tame, Tame Impala Oh, yeah. Some of his bass lines are, like, really filthy. But, okay, I'll show people how to do this because I would have appreciated it if someone showed me. So here you have a normal bass tone. And then you, you have the same bass track copied and pasted to another channel. Except this one, you're going to cut all the low end out of it. So there's no low end information because this one's going to be in stereo. And if you have too much bass happening, it just gets muddy. So you have to be careful with it. But this one sounds like this. And I just use this plug in here called fat effects with the dirty wobble preset and uh just compress it a lot and just make it sound gross with like chorus and distortion and then mix that with the first bass line and you get this <laughs> it's, it's like smooth but filthy at the same time good stuff Right. Damn. All right, that's all for Mason's production class 101. Come back next week for should uh There's so much. We should just write a <laughs> write a book. Write a book. <laughs> <laughs> About how to do these things. Oh, I thought you meant on how we made fly to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. We did, yeah. There is a lot. Write a, write a book for every song we make. We do a lot, though. I for, I forget how much we we actually. I'm amazed that we actually get any fucking music done. Part of my language. <laughs> because, like, First when of all, it takes forever to record. That's that's the the one thing that takes so long <laughs> to get a good take. Because and we're we don't, bad. We don't like to loop anything either. No. No, I don't. And so it just takes forever. I'm just awful at recording for yeah. some reason. 
Well, yeah, we're okay. Here's that the takes thing. a full day already. We're we're bad musicians. Like, I'm sorry, we're just not really good. We're really good at pretending like we're good, or we're really good at sounding like we're good. Or maybe we're just good. I don't know. You know, when we play live, we're good. Recording, yeah. don't ask us to record. Ask us, ask don't us ask to us record, to. <laughs> we'll recording, record. don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right. What's, what do we got next? Electric guitar. Oh, this is sick. Oh, I'm so, going to just play this. I'm going to just play this guitar. <laughs> sick i love how i'm just like we're not really that good and then i just play that <laughs> that was a good that was good yeah i love that tone too that tone reminds me of a song i don't know cool <laughs> it reminds me of there's a live uh version of you know the song lover boy by fun mm. mm-hmm and he's he's there's a live version on on like the colors YouTube channel, you know what right. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of that because nice. he's playing electric guitar there. Yeah, I'll have to check that, that was, out. That then. was actually the first time I listened to just the electric guitar on Five E. Cool. There so you go. that's why it reminded me of that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the roads you were asking about. Uh, what should I play it with? What do you want to hear the roads with? <laughs> Uh, Tamra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just Sh- Tamra. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here we go. I fly to you. That's it. I fly to you. This is nice. I fly to you. They're just offbeat roads doing the chords. Really simple. But it yeah. adds a lot. Yeah. Sure. Remember, oh my God, Jeremy, do you remember when we did the reggae thing? Oh. <laughs> it sounded like, oh my gosh. Do we want to bring that up? Yeah, we can bring it up. It was. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, we thought it was a good idea to <laughs> make the style of the song, not the whole second part, just like a few seconds of the second part be reggae. Yeah, just appropriate reggae. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we don't write reggae music, <laughs> just straight up use. Oh, it was so reggae. It was so. It was bad. Not that reggae is bad, but we just did it bad. We did. Yeah, it sounded like, because we were talking about the one drop, mm-hmm. and our one drop was way too. I don't know. <laughs> reggae music's supposed to be kind of relaxing, in some way, <laughs> where you're kind of just listening to it. But the way we did it, our one drop was so strong <laughs> that it just sounded like someone was punching another person. It just sounded so like if you listen to it, you you'll sound like it, it's like it'll sound dropping like a dead weight. It just sound it sounded like dead weight. I don't know if I could find it. I think I lost the project for that. Yeah, it was brutal. So the, the song punches you in the face every time <laughs> that one drop happens. This song has gone through so many terrible stages. <laughs> oh my oh god! god. I, don't, I, I don't know why we did that. I, it's such a waste of time. It was a waste of time. How long did we spend? <laughs> Probably <laughs> like a few that. days, like at least two <laughs> we, nights. We finally listened back to it, and it's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> why don't we start from the beginning? <laughs> we made like the whole thing. We're just like, yeah, no. <laughs> 
This ain't yeah, it. We we can't write reggae music. No. No. All right, those are the roads. Oh. My I sing on this quite a bit. I don't think people realize, but I do harmonies with you. Moon and back, I hope I made it clear. I'd fly to you. I fly to you just to hold you in my arms and to feel your skin to skin. I'd fly to you. I fly to you. So now everyone knows that that high part, the fly to you. That's me. Yep. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, I only did the guitar and the vocals. <laughs> and then you're out of here. Oh, man. No. I was there. Yeah. I was just... Uh, I was done with recording because, like I said, I'm not... Well, yeah, you don't live with me. The best recorder. Um, Singing best along with you, like when you record your voice and I do doubling, Yeah. it's really difficult to match you because... The way we pronounce words is is just so different. Yeah. Yeah. And in the demo, especially mm -hmm. when I first wrote the song, I I don't like how I uh, pronounce some of my words. <laughs> I didn't especially tell you to fly to you. I fly to you. <laughs> I didn't tell you that I was putting that demo on Spotify. No. And well, you, you told me. Did I? Yeah, you you asked me. I was like, yeah, it's okay. You can. I don't remember asking you. I was just hoping. I remember hoping that you wouldn't get mad. No, I'm not mad. <laughs> it's at least people can see how the progression it's of the yeah. Yeah, especially how I sing too. Mm -hmm. It's different how I sing it now than how I used to in the demo. Mm -hmm. Skin, I fly to you. Skin. I fly to you just to look into your eyes and to say that I love you. Whether it rains or it pours, no gloomy days keeping you from shining. Nice harmony there. Whether it rains or it pours, no, no gloomy days keeping you from shining. Hear me when I say, whether it rains or it pours, no gloomy days keeping you from smiling. Hear me when I say. Nice. That's sick. I love this song. <laughs> it's a really good song. Oh, here's a, a cool little production tip for people. Or for producers, not people. The reverse triangle, if you don't okay. use it right, it can be very cheesy because it, it sounds like a, like a, well, just bad. But if you, if you do it right, it can, it can hit, it can slap. Just to look into your eyes and to say whether it rains or that little Ooh, that's cool. look into your eyes and to say that I love you whether it rains or very subtle but it can yeah. help <laughs> what else is in here what else we got in here sleepless five. Oh yeah I stole that from a flume song or like some multi-track stems I might get sued by Flume. Flume, if you ever see this, it just worked so well in the song. I had to. I had to. Sounds like a metal butterfly. <laughs> I was going <laughs> like to say a pigeon. <laughs> a butterfly, yeah, or like a metal pigeon. It sounds like a pigeon made out of metal. Which is... Flying away. Cause fly to you. <laughs> exactly, fly to you. That's why I used it. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, what else? What is this? Oh. I fly to you. That's in there. Made it clear. I fly to you. We got. 
<laughs> laser gun effect. This guy. Imagine. <laughs> imagine if we recorded all these sound effects <laughs> as well, like with just our voice. <laughs> the laser. <laughs> Instead of like. Okay, <laughs> this clap is sick. Instead I, of sampling. <laughs> this clap, I think, was the last thing I added to the song, and I love it. Just super mm. gross yeah, yeah. and distorted. It's like a slap in the face, it feels like. I hope I made it clear I'd fly to you I'd fly to you Just to hold It works so well with, mm -hmm. with that drop. I also want to call some attention to the bass line again in this section. Let's do electric guitar and bass. Jeremy, the oh, the weight of that <laughs> chord, the weight <laughs> of that chord is like unbearable. So this uh again, again, play it again. Uh, I can feel it in like, not even deep in my chest, but like deeper. I don't <laughs> even know where. It's just like. You know when you feel something in your chest, you're just like, oh, it's like deeper than that. I can't even explain it. I could be overreacting, but <laughs> sounds pretty good. That's I'm so glad you're also a lizard at bass. <laughs> I'm a bass lizard. Because I would... I don't know how you play bass so well. Neither you, do I. Can you even play that now? No. <laughs> like... <clears throat> I think I remember one part. Always no gloomy days keeping you from shining Heal me when I say whether it rains or it A little walk down the That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> da -da 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 Yeah, no, no way I can ever learn that. I feel bad for if we ever like play live with a band, whoever the bass player is. <laughs> they have to learn it. And have to learn all the bass lines. I feel so bad for them. I mean, I guess they're not hard, but they're not super hard. But just coming up with them, it's just crazy thinking about how you came up with that bass line. I almost think it's better to not practice bass and not think about bass lines. And then when it comes time to do them, just like do the first thing that I mean, that's happens. that's what that's been working out. So yeah. <laughs> so I should never relearn these because it'll ruin my skills. <laughs> Actually, bass was my first instrument. I played bass in high school. Did you um, take bass lessons or no? No, I just played in the the repertoire cool. band or whatever. But yeah, I've had many teachers and professors kind of 
not teach me how to play bass, but kind of explain to me what the role of a bass is. Right. Um, so how did you learn technique then? Like when you were playing, you just... Oh, I just... I didn't. I, I have terrible technique. Oh. Did you hear so. that? He sucks at bass. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I actually do. I'm not a bass player. I just... I have an ear for bass lines, that's all. And then I just kind of make it happen on the guitar. Uh, all right, let's wrap this up soon. Um, yeah, it's the... We got the... What's this lo-fi dirty beat? Yeah, what is that? That's in the song. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that in the song? <laughs> it's at the end it doesn't matter oh let's listen to you messing up oh yeah i, I feel that. like maybe a lot of people think that's an edit because it sounds like an edit it's not okay i'm just gonna play jeremy's vocal singing through that last bit so he messes up and then he laughs and then i started laughing because he messed up and then we we're just <laughs> laughing at each other and we just kept recording and it was great and then we were like we should leave this in the song because, like, if we repeated the chorus, it would have been too repetitive. It would have. Because that's a long uh, outro. Yeah. If we just kept repeating that same line. And then I love how Tamara and I just keep singing I'd Fly to You yeah. over top it of you. Like it sounds like a show, to be honest. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. All right, here it is. It rains or it pours, no gloomy days keeping you from just smiling. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't know you swore there. I didn't know there was a k on the end of that. I thought you were just laughing. Oh, damn, I swore. We have a swear We're word. We're swearing in this song. Keeping you from just smiling. Fuck! Damn, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, it's every time. It's like I never learned from it. There's tears, I think. That's edited. That last part's edited. Yeah, that was from earlier in the song. I remember. That was like I didn't know my own lyrics. I was like, "There's tears in the lyrics." You were singing it, and then you stopped, and you're like, "There's tears." I think. And I was like, do you think that's good enough to be in the song? You think that passes the singing the line? Imagine if that was one of the lyrics in the song. Uh, I think there's tears in this <laughs> lyric somewhere. And then you just keep singing. Uh, but the reason why we were laughing so much is because uh, the the first part of the lyrics is supposed to be shining. And, and the second part is smiling. But for some reason... For the second time, I, I kept saying shining instead yeah. of smiling. That's why I went shy smiling. Yeah. Like shy smile. And it sounds like a cut or something. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> Try <Like>, to. <laughs> keeping you from shusma. <laughs> <laughs> I want to so hear That's why we're laughing so much. Almost every time I did that. And the last time, uh, like the last chorus, the very last chorus that we're recording, I still did it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear it's it again. So, so much. Or no gloomy days keeping you from just smiling. Fuck! I can't. What is that every time? Wait, wait, pause it. It's like pause I never it. learned from it. I love how I already said the F word. Like, I already swore. But I kept saying, hear me when I say Like, I just kept trying to sing it. Yeah. Like, While I'm laughing, as like, if like, oh, it's still me. rolling, so I better. <laughs> you were trying to save it. You were like, yeah, hear me to... when I say. <laughs> I was like, hear me when I. You from just my fuck. What am I supposed to do? For some reason, I thought I could save it. What's <laughs> every time? It's like I never learned from it. It's like I never learned from it. <laughs> I was referring to oh the amount of times I mess up on the same part. I never learned from my mistake. Oh, Still man. Still did it. All right. Yeah, that's... That's why do you... 
<laughs> uh, that's fine, dude. I think that's it. Yep, that's everything. All right. So, what, do we want to hear the whole song or not bother? No, they can check it out. All right. See, if they heard the whole song here. then uh, That's true. All right, go listen to Fly to You on Spotify or wherever you want. Spotify, We're TikTok. trying to... Oh, it's not on TikTok. I looked. It's not on TikTok. What's what's up with that? I don't know. Is we, it supposed to? Well, I think I thought I checked off TikTok on the distributing site. You can still upload it because, like, it defaults to it. I don't know how to upload it, mm. but it has to be on TikTok because it's such a TikTok <laughs> song. Yeah. So check it out on a. Uh, TikTok soon? No. <laughs> um, and Spotify. Wait, and if you YouTube, it's on YouTube. If it, if your song gets played on TikTok, does that count as a stream to Spotify? I don't know. Hmm. That'd be cool. Apple Music, Google Music. I don't know who uses Google. Amazon Prime. I don't know who uses that either. Vinyl. Go check it out on Vinyl. Check it out on Vine. On. <laughs> <laughs> Go listen, listen to our song on Vine. Um, well, yeah. Periscope. Periscope. S- uh, um, Skype. Go check it out on Skype. On um, MySpace. FaceTime. Yeah, it's everywhere. You can go on FaceTime. Check it out. Zoom. Zoom. We're using Zoom right now. Yeah, so I guess they technically... Kind of checked it out on Zoom already. That's why do you. All right. Oh, I realized I didn't even talk about like plugins that I use. That's fine. We'll do that later. Just know he used a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. This isn't even the, the... Okay, so this isn't the project that we recorded the song in. These are all uh, stems that have been exported from different projects. So, like, you see the bass track here. I didn't record bass, and that's what you see on the screen. That was in a different session, and then I exported right, it. Right, right, right. And right. S- imported into oh, this. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there's there's effects on the bass line in the original session, but then I put more effects on it in the new session. So it's really, like, twice as much. If If we had a session where you could see every single thing individually... This session would be maybe seventy. No, it'd be like over a hundred tracks. Oh wow! I think, it's like with especially with all the vocals, moment. all the vocals with like the harmonies and stuff. I feel like uh, Jacob Collier. Yeah, well, I think he has like five hundred tracks per song. Yeah, he's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I think he just does it for fun. He's like, how many tracks can I get? He like records like nothing, and then that's the track. There's actually uh, silence in this part. <laughs> he solos he some it. silence <laughs> with the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go check out Fly to You. Yes, we want to get to one billion streams. So make but sure you hit that uh, replay button. Yeah. Please. Here's we want to be first. famous. And. Uh, send Fly to You to uh, Columbia Records. <laughs> I figure if we spam them share, enough, share with your friends in Columbia Records. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we'll get signed to a label. Probably not. Our music is too unpredictable. Yeah, they'd be like, "No, why well, did why did that happen?" You're like, "Why'd you do that?" The song was fine before. Can, why couldn't you just do that? Why does it change? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if uh, Columbia Records, if you're watching, here's here's what I'm offering. Just I'm sure you could afford it. Just like a hundred k a year. Jeremy and I will split it because we're happy with like fifty k a year. And we'll make, we'll give you three albums a year. 
That's like dirt cheap. I know that's dirt cheap for you. We'll do three albums a year for 100K for the two of us. Okay? That goes for any label that can afford it. I don't know if that's how it works. Honestly, I don't know. I just want to get paid to do this. No, this was so much work. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this was so much work. You have no idea how much this drained us. And we're just asking for a record deal and $100,000 a year. That's it. That's it. (laughs) And you can have all the fly to use you want. We'll give you so many fly to use. If you like fly to you. Maybe they hate it. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How do you end this? You just... That's it. Mm. Bye. Mm. Bye. Uh, next episode, we'll do... We're going to do 35 millimeter, and we're going to do Misty Like Summer. Summer. And we have a new single coming out soon. In three weeks, probably? Don't say that. I mean, uh, in three months? <laughs> three years. We're going to have a new single coming out. It's, uh, it's a bop. It's a slapper uni. So just so. Uh, stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, next episode, we'll go through other songs. Yep. All right. <laughs>